G'day guys, my name's Josh, you can call me Zawoodle and welcome back to Survival Fountains of Youth where I finally have a balcony on my house. I've been very busy between episodes, finishing off my building here, getting myself somewhere nice to pull up my stakes and watch the sun rise over the distance. But now that I've got my house sorted, there's lots of things I need to do and to do that, I need to go out into this new island of terrors and nightmares and try not to immediately pickles. I love just sitting up here watching the buffalo roam cruising about like they've got nothing to do with their lives they're all on one big long holiday which i guess they kind of are in fairness uh there's not really much to talk about inside the house it's just a square <laughs> i haven't got super creative with it it's a square with a couple of tubs and a bed nothing too special but out here this is where i've put my smells up didn't want to chuck that inside my house and fumigate myself every time i try and have a kip so instead my smelt is outdoors out in the sunshine ready to rock and roll i have my clickies on me so i'll quickly whip you up can i get you going you need some fuel need some tinder as well and probably also need the ore which i think i left somewhere in here yeah you give me both of you gonna need some fuel as well uh that i think classes as tinder don't want to use this tinder though i'll use the leaves instead and what else do i need is there some sticks just some sticks i've got no sticks i used all my sticks all right that was silly g'day franklin how are your hot stuff give you a cheeky pat on the shell oh you're a fast boy a turtle in the hair eat your heart out you'd race any hair any day of the week that's that's way too freaking fast for a turtle, but all right, fair enough then. Uh, I'm looking for some sticks. I need some fuel for my fire. Have a little, little squeeze over here as well. I have built my dock just down at the edge of the bay. I finally got it to work at least a little bit. It's still not completely made it up to the, the cliff face as much as I wanted it to be, but at least I won't fall into the shark infested waters too readily. Where's all the twigs? I need some of those spiny fancy bushy oh there's a twig then uh, spiny fancy bushy things i can just harvest bulk stick from those things were great oh that's convenient i didn't realize i did that look there's my balcony just at the top there ready to punch frost and coughs and everything in between but just uh, down below me is a big stone deposit all right not gonna say no nah to that one that's not too shabby whatsoever but i do have a couple of twigs on me now so i'm gonna get back upstairs and light my smelter get my copper smelted away and just see what i can do with it because i needed the oh, i've also got fences along here something's not falling off i um i needed the copper pots to make the better tannery uh workstation to repair my backpack and my clothes that's kind of been the goal for a little while please use the leaves instead uh add some fuel oh so not sticks fuel type coal okay uh give me a second then crafting wasn't there a way to make a charcoal pile three pieces of clay device for coal production all right so i might need to whack down one of those as well but i still have my hammer equipped no that's my bow and that's an axe i'll grab my hammer real fast chuck another little like plinth next door to this one because if i can just whip up some coal in that that's going to save me a lot of effort I'm gonna chuck a piece of flooring right next to you that'll do nicely modules intersect with others oh hang on i want to build another one i just want to build this one there you go whip you up into shape might have to move this fence real fast so i can get onto it without breaking my legs i'll chuck it over here somewhere there's all these nice new rotation angles for it. I'm still trying to figure out which one's the right one. Uh, I don't think you have a good spot. I'm going to put you over here then. Just just like that. So I can move you into place later if I need to. Better than to do that than to have to rebuild it later. If I need another one down the track. Well, no time like the present, I suppose. The sun's not getting any brighter nor any higher. So I may as well set about on my mission. Which apparently is to try and find myself some clay. Which I think I do actually get... Yeah, I get from termite mounds. But to harvest you, I need a shovel. I haven't made a shovel before, but now it's a good time to learn. Shovel, wood shovel, or <laughs> copper shovel. All right, well, I'm not going to waste any copper on you. I need a wood shovel instead. What do I need for you? I probably should have checked it, but look when I was there. I need a big branch. All right, well, call me Arlene, because I was going to like searching for a big bit of wood. Clearly, I don't have anything to offer for that one. I have to look elsewhere. So there's some big branches inside the catacombs up here, just next to where I'm sure the Minotaur's cruising about. Okay, well, if I'm going to go into there, I'll grab a piece of charcoal or some sort of mapping stuff for when I climb that big tree that's all the way over the other side. 
Right, that should be fine. What could possibly go wrong? Just a bunch of pineapples, lizards, and harpies all over the place. But there's a big branch there, big branch there, and a jaguar. Yeah, yeah. No, great. That's gonna, that's going to be sick. Let's go pick a fight with a big-ass angry jungle cat. I'm sure we'll be okay. This is the entry to the catacombs, and there's some of the ocotillo shrubs that I did need before for all my twigs. Can I... I want to break down as few of these as possible, but still be able to make it through. Uh, can I go up along the side? No, nah, probably not. I'm going to try and just break down this one and none of the others. Break you first and then take you out of the ground. Can I slide on through? Yes, there we go. So they're all still there to be harvested later. What I eventually need... Ah! Some more fuel. Get off me, you bloody turpentine stingy thing. Go on. Take you. Ball you up for some anti-venom later. They're ginormous. How do you not see them? <laughs> Just hide in the grass and jump on your leg. All the ground around here does look decidedly red. So there might actually be some like clay bundles, some clay gob jewels around the place. I might be able to grab and take home with me and not have to dig up any termite mounds. I sit in the shade for a little bit and just figure out my plan. Use my Ezio vision. So I got a couple of things around this place. Actually, I should go and do. I may as well just focus on the big branches then. Oh, well, there's a living water just there and a pineapple being guarded by a goanna. Yeah, there you are. Oh, there's a, there's a couple. There's a couple. Hold on. Hold on. Easy. Shit. Oh, they're so fast. They're so fast. Oh, oh scary. Oh, so bleeding scary. All right, he's gone, though. Here comes his friend. Gone. Look at that. They're just having a cuddle. They're just snuggled up spooning each other. Who doesn't love being a little spoon? Little spoon is best. I harvested up some pieces of cactus out of the prickly pear. What do you give me? I can make booze. Cactus and agave will make me some tequila. Sounds bloody good to me, actually. All the water and stuff I need is down below me somewhere. That's a bit interesting. There might be some pineapples around the side out here. Someone cook up a pepperoni pizza because things are only going to get better. No, just some stones and... Well, where's the pineapple then? Like, just in here somewhere. I oh, there you are. I couldn't find any pineapple. Take you. Take all of you. You've now unlocked some recipes. Can I just eat you as you are? Because pineapples are freaking delicious. Cannibal fruit, pineapple, and alcohol. I can make a pina colada. Sweating potion. Oh, yeah. Couple of those and you will be sweating because you're getting caught in the rain. I won't lie. I'm salivating a little bit. I'm drooling just that little bit because the idea of that sweating potion is freaking delicious. Okay, champion. Hold on. Hold on. God, you're starting to find my groove with these bigger uh, lizard things and not really worrying about them so much anymore. Take you. Didn't get any more leather out of you, though. Couple of cheeky toadstools. Nice. Dead tree. I'll leave you there. So the big branches are just through here. There's a there's a big wall here. Why is there a wall here? I want to get up and in there, please. There we go. Cheeky rattlesnake. You can just cop an arrow to the gills. Not that snakes are known for their gills, but I just gave you one anyway. And some more pyrite. All right, looking okay. I can definitely see something glistening just next to the harpy nest just there. Sounds like the harp just got mad at me, though. Here we go. Come on, go straight towards me, please. I can't hold this freaking arrow forever. Oh, I, I, I took a pot shot. I was running out of stamina. I would have lost it anyway. Could have been glorious. Didn't work out for me, though. Oh, yeah, you've had a real rough time, haven't you? Come on, Arps. Can't come down here and gulp me up like you did our last friend over here, but it's not going to go the same way as last time. Boom. Gone. Gone. I love my bow and arrow. I love being able to shoot things. I love being good at the game. Well, it's just not completely inept at the game for about four seconds. Tell you what, it didn't take long for the sun to go down. I haven't really achieved all that much. It's just another bamboo flask. Not going to say nah, though. I can hear the rattle of another sausage. There you are. Hiding out in the shade. Clever snake. You may be cold-blooded, but you still need to get out of the sun every now and again. Grab some more pineapples. Thank you. All right, where am I now? I'm in the midst of some big branches. I do need some big leaves out of you anyway, because I need that for all my health potions and stuff. Take all those with me as well. Where are the big branches, though? Nope, that's spiky plants. You? You, you've got big branches. Lovely, lovely. Take that. I'm now cucumber, but that's okay. How, how much by? How much by? By about 10 kilos, that's pretty significant. It's now well and truly night time. I'm very thirsty, so quickly just drink up a couple of you. Get myself 
most of the way back up again. That will do nicely. Quickly whip up a cheeky little box over here so that I can chuck my shit down and come back and get it later. You. Yeah, just place you there. No, I won't because I don't have any big sticks. Never mind then. Disassemble you and just use the smaller one. I don't need much. I just need someone to keep the, the big branches safe so I can come back. You. Place. Build you. Thank you. Take all those big branches. Chuck you away so you're nice and safe. There we go. Run everything I have back home again. Check a cheeky pineapple along the way as well. Put everything in their respective boxes and come back for the, the big branches. Because then it's just a shovel and then clay and then charcoal and then copper. <laughs> Get into the copper age is taking longer than I wanted it to. But a lot of happy little lizards have to die along the way. That's a sacrifice I'm willing to make. I really want... Can I just... Like I'm holding my lit torch. I have fire. Oh... <gasps> I can too. I was worried about this the other day, saying like I should be able to use fire to start fire. I never actually tested it until right now. 100% chance of ignition. Still takes an hour apparently, but can't fail. So when you have fire, you keep fire. I really like that. I didn't know I could do that, but I absolutely froth it. Light you up as well, because why not? I'm kind of really tempted then just to leave these things going forever because I just like rendering down animal fat gives me the lamp oil. So I can just have that going forever. I wonder then, if I extinguish my uh, my torch, you, if I extinguish you, so I'm holding you, you're no longer lit, and I say, ignite by fire. Oh my fucking god, I love this game! It totally works! Okay, that thing is now the best thing ever. Keep you lit forever and ever. I fucking froth that. I froth that. It's just, it seems like such a simple thing that makes a lot of sense, but so many games will just overlook something like that. There's a mechanic for lighting fires while they make a second one, but being able to use existing fire to light other fire and guarantee it just... Oh, it's little things like that, the little one percenters that just make me fall head over heels for games like this. I ran all the way back into the catacombs to get myself my big branches, but now the sun has come up. It's going to leave you lit forever. In fact, I did leave that... There was the uh, the lighthouse out in the middle of nowhere that I did light at some point out over here. And that's going to be burning for however many days that was going to be going for. That might be something for later, actually. Maybe later on in the game, like, that'll be something like calling a ship or whatnot to try and get yourself rescued. We can get some of my resources back up to par and have a cheeky little kip. Not the whole day, please. Just like some in the morning. Cheeky four-hour nap. You good? Yep, there we go. Okay, so I've got my big branches. I need a shovel. Craft one of you. 45 minutes. Like, as I love the fire mechanic with the torches and stuff. I don't like that despite holding fire and a torch, it still takes an hour to light the fire or whatever. It should be significantly less than what it would be with just a regular fire starter, but I digress. All right, I've got a shovel. Let's go get some clay out of one of these termite mounds. Build myself the charcoal kiln and then get my forge up and going. You take all of that. Handfuls of termites have been studied. Blueprints for you. What do you give me? Treated formic acid. All right, fair enough then. Formic acid being like that weird... If you step on an ant and it, like, it dies and you break the shell, that weird smell that ants make when they die, that's formic acid. Grab some of you. That was all of my, all of my energy is gone. I'm four kilos over and I've got a couple of kilos of ants. All right, hang on a second. You just stay there. I'll be right back because I'm already knackered. This is exhausting digging out termite mounds. It's going to take an hour and 30 to build it. My stamina is already completely knackered. So just going to give it a go anyway. Yeah, that's fine. No injuries. Good job, meme. Oh, hang on a second. Hang on a second. I'm entirely prepared for this light my torch off of you please there we go just just makes me so happy dude you don't even know i can use you don't need tin a chance of ignition you use big branches for fuel so you got five days of fuel in you already holy god you last a long time all right each branch worth like two days but all right then i'll ignite you got a little bit hurt but whatever only singed me fingers that's all fine I would like blueprints, please. Yep, you. Gonna take nine hours to make me some coal. All right, that's fine. You need coal to light. That's all good. It means I can now extinguish me torch. Don't have to worry about relighting again. Now I've got this bad boy sizzling over here. And in fact, 
Let's get myself nice and hydrated and just have a nap till the charcoal is done. Because I, uh, <laughs> I've seen some better days. Good morning, everyone. It is now the next day. I'm a little bit thirsty, but that's all right. My charcoal kiln should be done. Take the coal. Get you making some more, please. I need 10 sticks. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Didn't realize. Give me all of you. That's nice. I forgot that I needed the sticks for. I didn't even check that last time. Get you sizzling away again. I'll go get some more twigs fire in a moment. But now that you're done, I can light from the fire and go to here. You have coal. I don't know how much fuel you're going to need to make myself the bronze. The bronze, the copper, so I'm not going to worry about that. No suitable tinder. So the tinder only really makes it go faster to ignition, not like a better chance of it. So give me one of those, I suppose. Something small and reedy to light up. 42 minutes. Light you. Okay, now I just need the copper. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Come with me, please. Quickly whack you in. Add blueprints. So it takes two pieces of copper ore to make one copper ingot. And it only takes an hour and a half, which... I have exactly the right amount of fuel. All right, that's nice and lovely then. Let's just quickly skip ahead one hour. Bo -bo -bo -bo. Like that, thank you. Have a little squeeze at you now. Oh, it's, yeah, no, an hour is less than an hour and a half, Josh. You probably should have known that. That's all right though. While I'm waiting for that to sort itself out, I'm gonna quickly go on a bit of a trundle. Ah, sorry. Go out and see a couple of the uh, the date palms out here. They've got the, um, the juices on the trunk, so I can go out there and slurp that up, get some food, get some fluids, and just be happy about everything. To you too, the buffaloes are wild. They are buffaloes on parade. My athletics is getting leveled up. There's one of my flasky boys. Quickly grab you. Now, I'm pretty thirsty already. I could fill up my flask with it, but it takes a lot of trees to fill up a flask. I might just drink. I might just drink. Slurp, 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 slurp. Thank you. Slurp up the other one as well. Lovely, like a slushy on a hot day. All right, Smelter, how are you now? Good in you. Uh, I thought you should have been done by now though. Where's my copper? Excuse me. Ah, oh, finished. There we go. I'll take you back. Thank you. Let's get inside so I can read about the blueprints and not get burned. All right. You. Blueprints. So you unlock a lot of things. Improve fish rod, copper saw, copper hammer, copper pickaxe, copper shovel, and copper needle. Copper crossbow ball. Oh my goodness, that would be heavy. Improve carpentry bench. No, what I really needed here was the copper tank. At a primitive forge... Do I have a forge? Is that the forge or is that? No, that's a smelter. Okay, well then forge. Uh, what do I need for you? Clay brick. Clay mold for crossbows. What? How do I, how do I make a clay mold then? All right, hang on a second then. Mold. Clay mold for crossbows. I need three leather strips in a kiln. Well, I have a kiln and a bunch of clay and stuff back on my original island. Yeah, okay. Well, what I'll do then, I'll bring back, like, my empty flasks and stuff and fill it up uh, out of my uh, rain buckets. You can all stay here. That's all fine. Anything else you to take home with me? I can't think of much. Although, while I'm there, I'll also take you with me and just render down a bunch of animal fat into lamp fuel so you can just stay lit forever and ever. I'll never have to worry again. Maybe... You know what? Maybe before I go, I'll quickly duck down to the boat and chuck a bunch of stuff into my uh, storage on the boat. But before I head back to my original island, the bird island, I might see if I can go and find myself... Oops, sorry. A couple more bits of... Um, what am I trying to say? A couple... Ooh, there's a lot of eggs in here. A couple more bits of copper and smelt that before I leave. That just seems like a pretty smart idea. All you guys can hang out in there. Uh, I don't need most of this stuff on me. You just wait. I'll be running you before too long like you're an exceptionally well-trimmed mustache. And my name's Arlene. So I wonder where I'm going to find copper. There's a couple of stone piles about the place. Ah, that's where I find the copper being guarded by the jaguar. Of course it is. All right, so that's what I'm looking for. At least it marks it up for me. I might go and try and grab a couple of that on my way through. See if I can get up the cartography tree while I'm here. And also see what this interesting site is. 
All right, Josh. I know it's very unusual for you, but try and be, uh, be brave for once in your life. It's time to learn and the time to master. Neither of those are now, but just give it a crack anyway. Yeah, nah, this is filling me with... Oh, God, I see the Jaguar all over there. This is filling me with all sorts of bad news feelings. Bad news bears and bad news Jaguars alike. What is the plan, Josh? What are you going to do? If I stay, like, high up here... What the... Oh, it's a lizard. It's a lizard. Okay, that's fine. The lizards can hiss and the jaguars can play, but not with my entrails, I bloody hope. Where did you go? I'm really thinking if I could, like, kind of pick it off from up on high. Can you already see me? That sounds way more ominous than just the normal lizard. All right, he's gone. That's all right. That jaguar over there is already, like howling at me. Okay, I don't think I can sneak up on it. I don't think I can sneak up on it. I'm going to try to stay up here anyway. Just up and out of the way, out of harm's way. I'm nervous about this. I've managed to crawl along this little ledge all the way around the little canyon down here. The boxed canyon. Why are we here? Uh, where'd you go though? The, the jaguar's just up and fucking disappeared. He was prowling about over here, but now he's gone. Hang on a second. I can... Yes, I can track his footprints. So he's gone over that way. Not that I especially want to find out too close by. Can I make that jump? Yep. No, I can't. Ow. That hurt. That hurt. That's all right, though. The Jaguar didn't see. Oh, there's the copper deposit, though. That's what I need. That's what I'm here for. Don't get distracted by shiny things, though, Josh. Kill the things, then take that. I killed myself a Goanna just there. So you can just kind of stay there for a second. It was a pretty good archery shot, but still no sign of the Jaguar at all. I'm trying to stay... <gasps> I'm trying to stay in the shade as much as I can. I don't want to move in case he sees me. Uh, go long. Too long. Too long. He's curious, though. There. 54 damage to the body. He's on the trot. Missed the shot, though. Oh, God. Oh, God. Now where's he going? Now where's he going? He's hidden by the bush again, but at least I did some damage. So, <laughs> you know, we picked a fight now. Now I have to finish it. You know what? Let's go. Let's do it. I've, I've landed the first blow. The music has got very intense, so I know he sees me. But at least I've kind of weakened him like the final fight in Gladiator. Well, here he comes. Here he comes. All right, charge it up. Charge it up and stab. Didn't kill you. Stab again. Yes! <laughs> oh, look at him. He's all like bundled up. See, he just wants a cuddle as well. It's okay, bud. It's okay, bud. <laughs> I, can just, I can just roll him back to camp. All right, well, come here. I'm going to quickly harvest you up for all your good things. Jaguar tendons. Doesn't make me a kick-ass bow. I don't know what will. No! I don't have enough life in me, Obsidian Knife, to harvest you. Uh, okay, in that case then, I'll grab that. I'll grab some copper and I'll bring you with me. Come on, lad. Come on, lad. Come on, kitty. You're coming home with me. I've got a shelf I can put you on somewhere. Oh, my God. There's 16 copper in here. It's going to take way too much of my uh, my pickaxe's durability, so I can't take that many either. Can I... No, I don't want to take all. I just want to take some. How do I just take some? Oh, here we go. Add. Okay, I want to take as much of my pickaxe can hold. I'm going to weigh myself down, but that's okay. I'll take all of you. Thank you very much. I need to throw away some things I don't need right now. Eat both of you. I'm now underweight. Chuck you on me shoulders. Come on, tiger. Come with me. Probably need to scope out this joint first before I go as well, because the sun's getting low. Can you just like, can you just wait, wait here for me for a second? I'll be right back, I promise. Just gonna climb some stairs first. Is that some obsidian just there? Oh, it is too. Give me you, please, so I can repair this bad boy. I'm a little bit knackered, but that's fine. 27 minutes to repair all of that knife to... I'll still take the Jaguar home with me, actually, to repair it back there. Take the bone, some cheeky buffalo potion, and... What's going on here? Just a bunch of guys with hammers and buffaloes. The Song of Buffaloes, the greatest craftsman of all four tribes were the buffaloes. Skillful with their hands, watchful with their eyes, and ingenious uh, were their minds in creating the best weapons and best tools. 
Their strongest boats were made by their axes, the most solid houses were built by their hands, the most accurate tools were invented by their bright minds. You just said the same thing twice? I feel like you did. And there were no better builders and craftsmen among the four tribes than the ones of the buffaloes. Oh, it's a song. Okay, it probably does repair itself then. That's generally how songs often work. That would have given me a skill point though. I've got one to spend. I suppose we'll start going into alchemistry then. I'll learn you. Thank you very much. All right, let's get my new pet cat home and harvest it up for all the good things. Actually, you know what? Now that I've got my repaired obsidian knife, I'll harvest all you up now because should I run back with the entire body that weighs me down so much and uses up all my stamina? Uh, what can I put away? You can hold on to all that for me. Need to take that back. We get that crafted up so I can come back and let that smelt while I'm doing other things. I'm still five kilos over. That's three kilos of meat. You weigh three kilos. I'll come back for you as well. In fact, I'll take... I'll come back. I'll get that later. All right, we're good. There's more things in this little pocket over here, like cannonballs and aloe and whatnot, and obviously some more copper as well. I need to come back and harvest the rest of it, but I need to do my errands first. Back home again. I stupidly didn't bring any fluids with me on my adventure, so quickly undo all the damage I just did to myself. Yeah, shocker. All the way. All the way. That's all fine. I need to go and refill that one. Got one more flask left. <sighs> Old mate's knackered. Yeah, now I know. You're fine. Just give me some coal. I've got my torch still on me, so I should be able to just light you and get you going. Uh, add fuel. In fact, you'll need more than that, don't you? Oh, it only goes one at a time. Okay, that's fine. Oh, wait. Do you? Do you go one at a time? Yeah, no, you do. Okay, that's fine then. Fire. Ignites a craft. You need that. Get your burning. Still takes an hour, but that's all fine. So you're good to go. You've got an hour 29 and an hour and a half worth of fuel. So it's one coal per ingot. I can live with that. You can now be extinguished. Thank you. I can now have a nap. I'm well fed. I'm well hydrated. So I should get all my energy back. Let's just sleep as long as we can, I think. Get through to... Uh, I mean, I need my stamina though. Ah, shit. Okay. I'll try and find a balance somewhere at about there. Yeah, no, nah, you're good. Lovely. Grab some more coal. Get the next ingot of copper going. Might just babysit the fire for a little while so I can get all my copper working before I go back to the bird island. I've now got two copper ingots and one more in the boat. I might quickly go... Oh, you are completely cooked. Hold on a second. Repair. You're going to need a couple of pebbles. I got that for you. Hold on. Uh, you. That one. Then quickly repair that one. Thank you. I'll go and get another load of copper. Uh, I'll leave anything that's not particularly important right now just here to hang out. I'll come back for you later on. No one needs the torch ring anymore. I can grab the bow. You can go into them. I still want to go and climb that tree over there, but I might have to wait a little bit until I'm in a better position to do so. You hang out. You guys hang out. You hang out. And both of you. Really just the pickaxe. I'll take that with me too. I guess I'm going to harvest something. Just the pickaxe and my knife and my essential tools and my weapons as well. Let's go get some more copper, get that smelted. Then when we go back to Bird Island, I'll have everything I need to cook up. What I also wanted to grab while I was here was some of that cannonball fruit goodness. I need that for both my, um, my pina coladas. Oh, Jatoba. Some gum and some big branches. The gum's really good for Tinder, actually. Ooh, that's all that I actually need. The ominous music is kicked on again because I'm back in this area. Ah, it's over here. Oh, there it is. There it is. We're all good. You. It's called the cannibal tree because it's grown cannibals. Makes sense when you think about it like that. Take all of you. Thank you very much. The day is getting long. What else is here? So I've already grabbed the stuff up the top. That's fine. The yellow markers are just the animal bodies that I've left behind because I'm apparently murdered everything these days. What are you, though? Is that... Ah, oh, it's my arrow. Okay, that's fine. Shows me those two. That's actually really handy. I've got enough pickaxe to... Oh, I don't have enough... Oh, I don't have energy to do it. I've got a... enough pickaxe to harvest another eight, but there's no point doing that if I can't carry it all home with me. So I'll go 53... Uh, 43, rather. Take all of you... Yeah, I know it's going to hurt me, but that's all right. I'm two way down. What can I get rid of that's going to help me? You, put that in my face. That frees up. That frees up enough space to be able to move again. Lovely. Going to be a slow crawl home, but the sun has set. It's nice and cool. So hopefully it'll be okay. It took a long time to crawl back here, but I've, I've made it back. I have no energy about to fall over and have a nap immediately. 
All of my uh, leaf outfit is looking a bit worse for her as well. Okay, that's all good. All of you just hang out in here for a moment. Oh, I should have got one extra one, so I had enough to smelt another ingot. Always got to go in pairs. You can have that. You can have that. And some strong branches as well. That's Actually, that's what was weighing me down so much. 10 kilos of branches. Hmm, yeah, that might have been silly. That might have been silly. What do you actually do for me, though? You, blueprints... So I need that in conjunction with the copper. All right, fair enough then. Oh, copper axe, that'd be a good time. I'd love all of those. A primitive loom, improved tanner bench. So you need to make sure I bring back one of those with me as well. Need the cannibal branch and the copper pot. Okay, all right, fair enough then. I'm very bloody tired. Let's just quickly chuck on two of you. I need one of you and my torch to get the fire started. You come here, please. I'll get that burning while I have a little nap so I can smelt it all before I leave. I've added a bunch of fuel, because what I'm going to do differently this time while you're crafting. Like, do you reckon there's a, like, actually any detriment to just having a nap like for, for an hour, getting up, replacing the copper, then doing it all again? I'm actually over 60, though, 60 water, so I do actually get refreshed. So for you, if I were to sleep for an hour... Sure, there you go. I've got sunstroke, so I'm not actually got any health back, but that's okay. Have a little nap. You've got 11 minutes, Remy. Not going to take it too long. I can't fix my sunstroke because I need to use my chemistation station to make the, um, the, the medicine for it. You should be almost done. Last couple of minutes on you. Swap you over as quick as possible and go back to bed. I might have for two hours next time and waste a couple of minutes. It might be worthwhile. One minute to go. Take you. Get the next one cooking. Damn it, Josh, you left the copper inside. It was the one thing you needed to remember, you idiot. Copper's on the go. Sleep for just two hours, just like that. Nice, you are now done. Take you. I'll extinguish you to not waste any extra coal. You're done. You don't actually... You're not, not actually lit, are you? You are lit, actually. I'll extinguish you as well. There we go. Not going to be here for a little while. Don't want to waste all my fuel. All right, you go into there. I'll have another couple of slurps and have a proper nap. Give myself as much energy as I possibly can because I'm heading back to my main island. I need to start crafting up all the things I need. I really make sure I haven't forgotten anything. So I need to make myself the improved tanner bench. That's fine. I've got the leather back there already. Uh, I'll just have a quick little look here though. So you need the copper pot. I've got, I've got the cannibal branch already. So that's the only thing. Copper tank. You just need a primitive forge. And to make sure I have the things I need to make myself a forge. You need clay brick and clay mold for crossbow. Okay, and to make a brick, I need pottery workbench. Got that back at home and one clay, so I have you. And to make the mold, I'm going to need three clay strips. I have the stuff to make that back on Bird Island already, and I'm already pretty way down. All right, I'm as good as I'm ever going to be. Uh, do I leave you? No, nah, if I'm not here, if I'm not here, turn off the fires. That's just smart cricket. Speaking of turning off fires, though, you extinguish that. Replace you with this one. There we go. All right, let's go back home. It's been fun on Copper Island. I'll come back in a jiffy, but got to go back to where my life is. One last thing before I go, actually, as I fall off my dock. There's no rain on Copper Island, but I did see. Wasn't it like a, a distilled water distiller? You need a fire pot and a clay brick, bamboo, and sticks. Okay, so I have some bamboo and sticks at home. I might even, like get the stuff I need for one of these and bring it back with me. Salt water will still uh, gradually evaporate into drinking water. Fuel consumption. I wonder what fuel it uses. I would have thought it just uses the sun. Although, it was there. No, there's no solar. There's no solar. I thought there would be a solar one, but not to be. All right, never mind then. Jump onto you. Take the helm. E to sail away. Back to my original home. That one. Straight to you. It's going to take a big chunk out of my ship, but that's all right. Off we go. I'm going to arrive at night time. That's all right, though. You know, little little quick journey back home to get my life going well. Oh, it's good to be back home. Back home where I'm no longer sweltering away and losing all of my water. Uh, F to activate. Q come with me, please. Come over to the end of the dock. Uh, yep, just about there. Okay, you. I need to leave the repair kits and you and the fishing rods as well. Why not? Have a cheeky snack while I'm here. Can't say nah. And some fluids. Thank you. You can stay in them. All of that should be left back in the house, actually. But I'll take all of you. Both of you. That one as well. And we should be fine. I'm a little bit weighed down, but 
Here you go. There's that. There's all of that. That should be nice and lovely. Yeah, we're good to rock and roll. All right. Cheeky you banger and up the cliff we go. Back home we go. It's good to be back. It's good to be back where I feel comfortable again. Here we go. Just park her up like just in the shade. I'm now, I'm so acclimatized to the new Buffalo Island. I'm looking for the shade everywhere I go to try and keep myself alive. Right, first thing, chemistry bench. Please make me just all the lamp oil in the world. Because that gives me so many hours of fuel for the lamps. So I'll never have to worry about it again. Speaking of, interact with you. I don't have my clicky clackies. Hold on a second. I've got... Where's all my clicky clackies? Did I... I didn't leave all of them on the new island. Surely. Surely not. Nothing in you. Nothing in you. What the dickens have I done with them? Piece of pyro. Can I use you to light something? No? I'm, I've stitched myself up here. What a pelican. That's fine. There was a flint. It was in the last chest. I've got you. Thank you very much. Quickly get you up and going. See, look, like lamp oil lasts four days per pop. It's ridiculous. So like crafting that out of the animal fat is just a no brainer. Get you cooking. Thank you. Grab me torch back so I can light everything else I need soon. You and lights. Okay, so... Now what was I doing? Now I've forgotten. I've got myself all bloody turned around. I've got my pottery stuff in here and my kiln. So I needed to make the pot and all that kind of stuff. But first things first, I need to upgrade my tanner's bench. You, upgrade. Oh, that's what I need to make myself the forge. Okay, hold on, hold on. I'll go through the motions and get it done and get everything rocking and rolling. The forge is bloody monstrous, but it's going to fit in my little... Just fit in some little house. A little bit iffy. In fact, can I move you even just a little bit? Maybe like line up a little bit better. I didn't think it was going to be this bloody big, but I'll too late now. Place you there. Put all the things I can into you. You need a big rock and four planks and one leaf. All right, hold your horses then. I should have most that around here somewhere. Not in there though. Not in there though. Not in there though. Not in there though. Mm, also not in there though. I've got one split log. I need a bunch more. Where the hell is all my thick leaves gone? I've I've lost them. I've lost them. I don't have to go find any more thick <laughs> any more thick leaves. Damn it, they're the worst things to find. I'm going full Easter Island and cutting down all the trees that I mean I don't have any value to me. They definitely do, but the ones that I deem necessary. And chuck on my log cart. You can stay on there actually. Yeah, I've got one more tree. One more tree. Why not? Slice it down as well. I'm knackered. That's fine. So is the tree. I'm leaving the date palm, though, because it's got my little flask on it. Uh, you add item. I'm heckin' thirsty. All right, come on. Back up the hill, please. I've got a, a bamboo flask full of palm ju uh, juice. I don't want to waste it, so try and find some water back up there. Why am I losing my water so fast here as well? This is even the hot island. Is it just now it's something I have to deal with all the time, or what? Oh, there's no water in any of my catchments. All right, hold on a second. Hold on a second. Do I have anything in you that's going to get me sorted? Some dates. They just give me food. No water. Eggs give me some water, but a good chance of infection. I don't want to start drinking potions all willy-nilly. What about in you? Nah, there's none. All right, in that case then, my bamboo flask full of juice is going to have to do it. Slurp, 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 slurp. Doesn't give me nearly enough fluids, but it's going to keep me from dying for now. Okay. Yeah, I know you're tired. I know you're tired. I don't have enough water, though, to have a proper nap. Mm, do I have? Actually, in you, maybe. Oh, coconuts, Josh. Coconuts are good for water. Okay, hold on. Hold on. I have a quick little kip, and I'll go and get myself a couple of coconuts, slice them up, and get myself working again. Just to there. Just to there. Just some. Just enough energy for the moment. I'll come back for more later. I came out to grab the coconuts and I succeeded in that. But before I head back home and have my nap, while I'm out here, I might as well have a quick little game and I'll see if there is just one. Just one broadleaf plant out here somewhere that might be able to grab and chuck in my forge. Because look, I'm right next to the jungle where all the boars and the short-eared dogs and all the honey badgers like to play. Oh, all the all the ferns are back on the other island too. There was so many ferns I harvested them all, but left all the. <gasps> no, that's a rock. Damn it. Ooh, maybe that one. Maybe that one. I left all the um all the leaves back at the other house. You? Nothing. Nothing. You're all nothing. Come on, please. Here we go. This will do nicely. Yes, five leaves out of you. Thank you very much. It's now the middle of the night. I'm way down. I'm a heck of bloody knacker, but I got the things I need. 
Look at it over there. Look at my little beacon of paradise sitting atop the crop. I'm going back. I'm going back. I'll get a sleep. I'll put my forge down and finally make myself things I need to repair my clothes and my bag. Man, entering the Copper Age has been a hard bit of yakka, but we're finally right on the cusp of it. Oh, what an ordeal. Gonna take three and a half hours to build my primitive forge, but I'm okay with that. I don't know why I still have... I think maybe like the weather's bugged or something and it thinks I'm on the like the the hot island still because my water is getting sapped away so freaking quickly. I didn't used to do it like that, but I'm not really sure. Plus I'm wearing all my protective clothing and stuff. That's a bit weird. Crafting, you're what I need. Place you. Cannot craft, no fire. Cannot craft, no fire? Why no, what? What do you mean? What? Um... Oh, you need fuel. Okay, I, <laughs> I was like, what do you mean there's no fire? I don't need to light you. It was in the other tab, but I just wasn't paying enough attention. Shock horror, I know. Uh, give me a Jabota gum. Give me a couple of bits of tinder. You, although the, the Jabota gum is the tinder, actually. Give me some fire. Nice. Let's go light you up and get ourselves the pot that I need. You, add fuel. No, you need coal. I left my coal on the other island. Shit. Can I, if I go into a cooking pot, can I craft any coal in you? Coal. Only charcoal. Right. Okay. In that case, I might quickly, I might quickly run back to the other island. It's going to hurt my boat, but I have repair kits. That'll be okay. I'll run back to the other island. Let's grab the whole bunch of coal from there and bring it back. I'm annoyed. I'm annoyed I didn't realize that to start with. You've just got a bunch of you and you. That's fine. I'll just take me, that with me. Oh, man. The sun may be rising, but it's setting on myself. How did I do that so badly? Okay, here we go. Add fuel. It's going to take a little bit to light you. That's right. I've got my flaming torch. I don't know how long it's going to take to do anything. So let's go two fuels. One knob. Get your cooking. You, workbench, please make me you. I'm heckin' thirsty, I know, but that's okay. Finish you off. You're now done. While you're lit, though, ow, I know, I know I'm dying. Just calm your farm. Copper axe head. Base of horn crossbow. Ooh, interesting. Quick whip up one of those. It's hurting to do all this because I'm heckin' thirsty. Is there anything I can put into me that's going to satiate me at all? You, that'll do. Thank you. Cheeky bit of broth. What else can I make? What else can I make while you're cooking? Copper axe head, absolutely. Not enough fuel to finish that. Okay, that's fine. Hold on, hold on. There's a couple extras for you. Workbench, make you. Yeah, no, nah, you're fine, you're fine. What else do I need from you? Knife blade, uh, I like the obsidian knife already, but all the rest of this stuff is kind of a bit whatever. Copper nails, actually. Gonna need some more fuel. I'm gonna use all of my coal on this. Fuck it. There you go. There's all of them. We'll just cook everything I possibly can. Workbench, copper nails. Not sure what you give it. I'll make it anyway. And last but not least, the knife blade too. Got no ingots for it. All right, fair enough then. You, I'll extinguish you. Put all that coal in there for nothing. So those copper nails go into a solid ship repair kit. All right, all you're missing is a wooden plank, which I actually have a spare one of. There you go, cuz. Whip one of those up for shits and giggles. No. Oh, because it's a wooden plank, not a half log. Okay, okay. There might be might be some upgrades I need to do to you to get that going, but that's okay. I can wait till later. You can have that. No, no, no. Oh, shit. You're big. You're big. Um. Well, fuck. I, I've never had to fit something big in before. What, where am I going to put you? I've moved everything around to try and get this to work. Can you please fit into that little spot over there, please? I'd really like it if you could. Yep, sure, that'll do. My woodworking station is now outside, but oh well, too late for that. Okay, so I need a piece of leather. That's what I needed to repair these things, wasn't it? You, come here, please. Little squeeze at you. I need a piece of leather and a tendon thread. And I assume... Not you. You are going to be the same. Repair you. You need piece of leather and two tendon threads. All right, then. Well, I can make that. That's all fine. Out of animal tendons. But dried hide, 10 clean water, and tree barks. 
I don't have any water. If I had water, I'd be filling myself up with it, not just you. Damn. Well, annoyingly, I didn't get to finish off what I wanted to do today. I wanted to repair these things, but I've just run out of time. So I'm going to have to leave this episode here. But at least now I know where I'm going. I've got my copper now. I've entered the copper age, which I think is bloody dope. I've got my better tanner station, so I can start making the pieces of leather to do the repairs I need to do. I can really start moving into the next age of this game. I'm having an absolute bloody ball with it, though. There's the little things that I wish were here, are here, and my enjoy enjoyment even just keeps going up and up and up but i'll have to continue all of my enjoyment in another episode because this episode is done so thank you guys for watching most of all thank you to the patrons of the patreon who made this episode possible if you like liked make sure you hit the like button down below and subscribe to this channel follow me on twitter if i don't talk to you there first i'll see you in the next episode have a good one